we are arriving on location and I know Allie's already here shooting and I see the flashes going off, so I'm gonna have to let her know that I'm coming in. Allie, can I come in? Where are you? There we go. So one of the things that I do before I start mounting this onto my chest is I will go through my settings. Um, now on the Black Magic, which is really good, is that they actually have presets. So if I click on here and I go to my presets, you can see that I have indoor real estate already set. So once I click on that and I press check mark and then I go back, my presets are already set. The only thing I change would be the ISO. So this is a dual native ISO, so the best way to shoot this is always at 400 or at 3200 ISO. We're gonna go at 3200, and then we're gonna change our next setting is our iris. Now, because I have the Meta Bones adapter with this lens, I can bring this down to uh, f2.8, but we're gonna shoot it at around probably f4. And we'll see what happens there, and then make some adjustments. Color balance right now, we're gonna keep it at 3200. The lights and everything that are in here are pretty much tungsten, so we're not gonna have to deal with that. Um, we got our shutter degree, we're shooting at 4K, 60 frames per second. And the reason why I shoot at 4K, 60 is because it allows me to crop in. At 60, it's slow enough that I can kind of make some slow motion movements and kind of control it. So 4K, 60, bra, uh, bra which is, uh, black magic raw and let me just make sure because i did change it yeah so we're shooting black magic raw compression is 5.1 i can even go 8.1 is fine 4k and that's it we're set so once that's all set and ready to go i'm going to unlock this And it's like total pressure off my shoulders, which is amazing. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the front. So we're going to kind of plan out how I wanna shoot this. So as I'm walking around, I'm kind of looking to say, um, should I start from this side or should I start from that side? And I think what I'm gonna do, ideally, is I'm gonna start from here and then wrap around this way to kind of show it. Ali's spinning her way out of the scene. Um, so again, I'm just trying to figure out how and where I want to take all these shots. I got to look at things like mirrors. So we're going to see a lot of reflections in the mirrors that we want to avoid. Now, check it out. We got a double banger here, which means I got a mirror there and then I got a mirror. So just when I thought I was good here, as I set up this way, you can see that I can see myself in the mirror over here. So I got two mirrors that I need to deal with. So either I have to step over to the left a little bit and that helps me avoid both of those mirrors. So these are the, kind of like the little things that you want to check just as you're getting ready to shoot. Uh, and also I'm picturing as I'm coming around here, I have to avoid this mirror and still maintain being able to kind of get the shot as I go through. So I think we're good. And then we're going to get another angle from this way and start wrapping around. Okay, looks good. One of the other things that I usually suggest is dimmers if they have them. So you can see that this this dimmer right now is full. We're gonna set it to half. So I usually recommend always setting dimmers to half. You like my booties? <laughs> booties are very key because two months ago, I stubbed my toe on a transition from the floor that was not even, and I'm just losing my toenail now. So, booties, shoes stay on now. So again, as you can see guys, having a nice big screen like this, I can record everything internally, ProRes is all on this. Um, I mean, it's just awesome. Like usually I had a monitor that was mounted down here and I'd have to look. This is right at your eye level, which is great. Okay, so now we're gonna do a wrap around around this kitchen. So I'm gonna 
start around here. This is gonna be a pan, so again, mirror, mirror, gotta watch it. So here we go. Good, and then back. Done. Yeah, always. Just, because, just in case the first one, something happens, I have another backup I can go back through. And sometimes it's as simple as, you know, the realtor's in the, in the room and I catch them on the mirror and I didn't really realize it when I was here. Or, you know, someone's walking by outside or something happens. Or what you're gonna see now, I can see the realtor is probably gonna be coming in. But anyways, we'll do two takes always. So that's all done. So next is upstairs. So what we're gonna do is what I, again, it's all personal preference, whatever someone decides. But as I start going up the stairs, I like to kind of lead people to what the next spot is gonna be. So leading them to the next spot means a little bit of stair transition to say, okay, come on up with me. So literally it's just. So now we led people up the stairs. The next spot is to lead them to what the top of the upstairs looks like. So I'm thinking this angle is probably gonna be better. Yeah, this angle is gonna be better. So we're going to just do a very simple pull back like this. And that will be our reveal for the upstairs. All right, so this room, we have to show what the other side looks like, or if you're the homeowner laying in bed, what this view looks like. So we also wanna show that there's a closet that goes through and then the washroom is all the way down there. So we're gonna do a pan this way. I have a mirror that I have to avoid over here, but I'm gonna start my pan this way and then I'm gonna start walking right through. One of the major things I try to tell anybody that asks me, you don't need to show the toilet. Everyone knows what a toilet looks like. It's not very attractive, but I wanna see what's over here. Now, there's a shower that's behind this door. So what I'm gonna have to do is close the door a little bit. Thank you, Andre. So as we close the door a little bit, now we can actually see there's a shower that's behind this door. So I'm gonna leave the door open a little bit just to kind of show, let me guess, another spam call. Um, no, it's not a spam call, but I'm working right now. I'm sorry I can't answer the call. Leave a message. All right, so as I'm panning and coming around, uh, we're gonna show that this is the shower, this is what's over here, and this is what the beautiful sink looks like. I think the biggest thing for me and for most homeowners is they wanna see what the bathtub and the sink is like in the shower. The toilet is the same for everybody else, right? All right guys, let's head outside and capture the low ground level shots. So one of the things that I'm noticing here is shooting this way is not ideal right now because there's construction going on next door. We've got a garbage bin, we've got a construction worker. So we're gonna avoid shooting this way. I'll get a little bit lower and we're gonna shoot from the other way. Um, hello. Yes, sir. How important is aerial for you? Like I said, I'm not in a huge rush. No, it's not, I'm not worried about that. I'm just... Do you think it's not useful here? Honestly, like, guys, I'm gonna share this with you. And I say this to a lot of my clients. I will do anything you want in service, but if I don't feel that it's something that will work... Uh -huh, and I, I appreciate that, so I'd rather know. It's, it's not... <sighs> if it's not ideal for the property, then it's yeah, forget it's, about it. It's, Ali mentioned that she might want to not necessarily an aerial, but for uh, just a front photo, maybe use the drone. All right, guys, so that is a wrap. Um, hope you enjoyed the kind of little behind the scenes. We plan on doing a lot more of these. And if you guys have any questions, as always, just 
send me a question, DM me, whatever, and I'll be happy to help you guys out. Until the next one, we'll see you later. Thank you.